With the pigeon racing season about to start, I'm like a Premier League manager on transfer deadline day, training the ones I have and trying to buy more. So today is probably the scariest day of the year for anybody that keeps pigeons and that's because I'm going to be letting the young birds out and one of four things is going to happen. Number one, I'm going to let them out and they're just going to take off because they're too strong on the wing. Number two, I'm going to let them out and the sparrowhawk's going to turn up and so I'm going to scare them or kill one. Number three, I'll let them out and then I'll shake the tin, whistle and they'll go back in. Or number four, anything, the unexpected, pandemonium, who knows. But before I do that, I'm going to let the old birds out. I started my racing career with 39 young birds in 2022. After five races, countless birds of prey attacks, plus illness and straying, I'm heading into my first old bird season with a very small team of yearlings. Look how high they are now, look. Nevertheless, the class of 22 are looking awesome today. Oh, oh, they are. got to get their angle right you know if they come in too steep they won't land like that one look don't know what to do <laughs> right in you go in you go come on a little bit more urgency come on not gonna win any races like this come on now is the time to let the young birds out I think I've done everything pretty much right there's a bit of cloud in the sky and I've got a bath. I could ideally do with getting them wet before they come out, but we'll see what they're like. There's virtually no wind, so hopefully it won't, they won't get carried away uh, anywhere. And the sparrowhawk tends to be around late afternoon, so it's one o'clock now. Um, we'll just see, let's see how this goes, shall we? There's a micro, oh, there's a helicopter in the sky, but I don't think that'll bother them. All right. See how many we end up with the, at the end of the day. Please don't fly away. Here you go, come and have a look. Come and have a look at the big wide world. And I'll just keep my eyes peeled really for um, sparrowhawk. I mean, there's nothing much I can do about it really. Just onto the bin. Okay, that's where you're going, is it? There we go, look, back and forth, that's what we want. And not ideally on top of the loft. Really hard to describe how incredibly nerve wracking it is, letting these out because big noise now, these are gone. Sparrowhawk does a flyby, which it does every day. These are gone. Cat comes walking up the fence like it did last year. These will be gone. You know, Rufus might jump up and start barking. Like he will do that. He's got his eye on them now, but we've got Belgium, Belgium, Britain, Belgium, Britain, Britain, Belgium. So I haven't fed them today. I didn't feed them last night. So they're quite hungry. And that should hopefully mean that when I whistle and shake the tin, they'll try and get back in that. Aviary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still seven out. Luckily today the sparrowhawk stayed away and the first outing for these young birds passes without any losses. Right, so today is the uh, Peterborough show. I'm heading down there to deliver these two birds, which I sold through the North Road Championship Club uh, Futurity Race uh, auction, and uh, I bought another two. So uh, I'm gonna pick two up and drop these two off. Guys.
So we've got the young birds that we bred ourselves and we've got the young birds that we got from Belgium. And then we've got some birds to pick up from Charlie and we've got some birds to pick up from Dave. So we're gonna go and get those today. I've got the old birds flying out at the moment because um, we've got our first race in two weeks and we're training them at the moment. They've been loft flying for the last few weeks and they're pretty good. They fly for about 40 minutes, 50 minutes. And tonight, not tonight, maybe this afternoon, or definitely tomorrow, we're going to take them down the road for their first uh, road training toss uh, for that for that first race in two weeks. So, Because the young bird races start as soon as the old bird races end in July, I can't put all of my effort into training the yearlings for the season opener, which is only a few weeks away. Instead, I have to lay the foundations for the young bird team now to reap the rewards later. And that means sourcing and buying the best birds I can get my hands on. The thing with racing pigeons is even if you have the best training regime, the most expensive loft and on race day have a favourable wind, you're still unlikely to win if you have rubbish pigeons. Whilst I can't control the weather and I can't afford a top notch loft, I can at least try to increase my chances by putting together a team of good racers from good flyers. And if that means driving to Belgium or just 10 miles down the road, I'll do it. Right, Dave. A bit warm, isn't it now? Oh, Look at this. I've got thermals on, <laughs> and jo and underneath, because I was out at football this morning, oh, wait, yeah. and it was uh, when Archie was playing. It was bloody freezing, oh, nice. and now it's baking hot, isn't it? There you go. Who we got here? The four here. Yeah. What, <laughs> what I've done, I put a celluloid on yours. A celluloid. What's that? Lloyd ring. Oh yeah, yeah. So I could recognise them, barring for one. Right. <laughs> right. And this is the task in hand. Let me show you. <laughs> How many you got? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd put them on them all. Oh right, so there's, there's one in here with the ring number. That's ours. Dave had four birds for me to collect today. Unfortunately, he'd misplaced number four. <laughs> so it's one of these. <laughs> oh good. I'll just, I'll just shut that. Yeah. The, the, the best stock pair. Yeah. Late, um, I started yesterday. Yeah. So I'm going to give that one. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we're good. I was also pleased to see I was getting a bird that wasn't blue. X. Excellent. I haven't had a mealy before. Have you not? No. Well, I've had them in the strags and then, oh, yeah. you know, sent them away yeah. again. Nice, well, nice way to that one, isn't it? Compared to those you were showing me earlier. The chap from um, Alex from Belgium, yeah, was saying what he likes is a, a, a lot of feathers on the back. Yeah, I mean, a, if you run your fingers along there, it's... that's a throwback or something. And I, yeah, oh, what the colour? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. Good, I like them a little bit interesting. Well, I know you don't. <laughs> that is interesting because yeah. that's the first one I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, what do you call that? Come here. That was you then. How many you got there? Four, ain't you? That's four, yeah. And just like every other fancier in the country, Dave was trying to breed and wean young birds whilst trying to get his old bird team fit for that first race. So I've got a collection of the birds that we've been picking up this last few weeks and um, these are four that I just wanted to show you because we mentioned these on the video. Um, this is the one that, my first mealy. So this is the first uh, mealy that I've had. We've had a couple of these um, in the stragglers 
but never owned one. It's quite a big boy, aren't you? So you've been filling your face full of corn, haven't you? Hey? It looks like a nice bird anyway, so this is one of Dave. So hopefully um, entering that into some races this year, if you make it all the way through. It's like a, a check, really, but just grey all over, like a slaty kind of colour. I don't know what that would be called. But it's nice anyway, aren't you? You're a nice looking bird. These ones are from, that I bought from a chap um, down Lincolnshire Way, or across Lincolnshire Way. Um, but they're really, really nice handling birds. They're so tame, so he's obviously handled them a lot while he was rearing them. Um, you know, of course, mock on your feet. Um, but yeah, they you can see molting quite well now. Um, what's this one? This is 67. So this is a futurity ring race. So this bird will be sent off to the championship, North Road Championship Club Young Bird race. I think it's at Dunbar in September. So we've got to hope that this and the other one, uh, it's nest mate, well, it might not be a nest mate. We've got to hope that this one and the other one, it's so tame, it's great. Come here. And this one, look at the tail. Like, I don't know any that have, have got this, like, pin sharp. Um, they're very, like, long birds, aren't you? And very tame, which is great. Um, but these are going into the, this one's fifth, uh, 66, yeah, 66 and 67. So these are uh, North Road Championship birds. You'll be going into the uh, Futurity race, aren't you, in September. And there's quite a lot of prize money in that. I think it uh, stands at about £14,000 or something. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if we can do any good on that. But yeah, lovely tame birds. Looking a bit scraggly now because they're on darkness and molting. But Aside from a few latecomers, I've pretty much completed my young bird team. We'll take a closer look at them as the year progresses. At least now I can finally focus on getting my yearlings fit for our first race in less than two weeks time. If you want to see how that goes, you know the drill, like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell.